Okay, so just to give you a little bit of context behind this video, this sister was walking past the dawah stall and I didn't know she was a Muslim. And I told her, you know, here's a copy of the Quran. And she was shocked. She was like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually a Muslim. I explained to her, I would never have guessed that you're a Muslim, mainly because she carried no signs of Islam. And we started to talk and the conversation came to the topic of the hijab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a sign and a miracle just for her. Watch her reaction coming up. You know the reason I keep my beard, yeah? Because yeah. anywhere I go, when I step into that room, people look at me and they're like, that's a Muslim right there. Okay, so you're saying without a beard you're not Muslim? Well, no, I'm not saying that. So what are you saying? I'm saying that there's reasons why we've been given certain laws and prescriptions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and I get what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is, it would be better for you. If I was wearing hijab. Yeah, I knew that. Because then that way, where you, sorry. That way, whenever you go somewhere, people know straight away, like, that sisters are Muslim. Yeah. You know, Allah gave that command to protect you. Yeah, but it's also your choice. Huh? It's also your choice. Of course. No one can force you to do it. I'm not forcing you. I'm, not I'm just giving you something to see how. You're giving me, like, I get it. You're giving me just advice. Yeah. Like, uh, we wouldn't... Um, the Prophet ﷺ said, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخي ما يحب لنفسي That one of you is not a true believer until you love for your brother what you love for yourself. Yeah. And if we truly love Islam and everything that comes with it, then we advise one another. Yeah. You know, We advise one another and say, look, this is good, this is bad. Try do more of this, don't do as much of this. You know? Yeah. And like, your beauty is for your husband it should be it shouldn't be like for every man to just look at and uh, whatever you know yeah. that's and obviously that's your choice that's your choice yeah. you know and that's the decision you've got to come to and it, it'll only come when you come closer to your creator you know that uh, the famous hadith of no. Aisha I, I do hear it I do hear what you're saying but I feel like as long as you're, as you're, you're stuff it, man. There you go. As That's as my point. That was from Allah. That, he did that. Wallahi. That was from Allah. Said, that was from said, Allah. Wallahi. You oh think if you, God. you know, if you were in a hijab, you think he'd have the audacity oh to do that? My God. Do you think he'd have the audacity to do that, sister? Oh my God. Wallahi. Look at that. Look at that. that I didn't plan that. I know, of course. Brother, I didn't plan that. That was from Allah. Subhanallah man, look at that. Of a sister walking in New York City, she was abused. You know, all she had on, she had a t-shirt and some leggings. Like she wasn't provocatively dressed. And she walks for one hour in New York City and she's abused over 190 times. Guys trying to grab her. Yo, sexy, yo, babe, let me get some of that. Let me this, let me that, and so on. I leave the rest to you. For one hour, not a single man looked at her twice. They moved out of the way for her. She was just walking. They were moving out of the way for her because she's empowered now. They know this is a Muslim coming our way. Like, stay away from her. Don't, don't, don't bug her. Fair enough. Yeah. But Look, you Aisha. If you're, like, I don't, you get that? I can, but you weren't doing nothing there. Yeah, but I know that. I yeah, but, know, yeah, but you yeah, weren't doing nothing there. You were talking to me. I know, but I'm saying men in general. Yeah. are gonna look regardless. But that's yeah, but no, no, okay, no, no, no. Look at the command. Men in general, women in general. Yeah. Everyone looks regardless. Sis, what's your name? Safia. S Safia. 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 Faisal. Safia. Look, the first commandment was what? Tell the believing men to lower their gaze. Yeah, but that's even like it's that's even like. And then. When you're, when you're yeah. Man, you have your eyes the, the first command was tell the believing men to lower their gaze, and then tell the believing woman to cover their adornments. Yeah. Aisha radiallahu anha said that if the Quran. If the first verses in the Quran came down about hijab and alcohol, the Arabs would have rejected it straight away. But look at the hikmah of Allah. For 13 years, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, he came down. What was his message? Tawheed, the oneness of Allah. It was the oneness of Allah. Come close to your, to your Lord. Put your heart, he connected people's hearts to Allah.
made them close, made them firm. I, 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 anyway, I'm, with, I'm born as Islam, and that's so nice. Okay, where are you from originally? I'm from um, ja I'm Jamaican. Caribbean. Okay. African. Okay. Okay. See, his dad was Muslim, okay. Caribbean. He was born as Islam. Alhamdulillah. I'm born as Islam. He married my nan. It's a Christian woman, okay. and that's fine because she's still... She's Ahlul still Kitab, good. yeah. yeah. Um, okay, let me ask you a question, Safiya. How's your prayer? How, how's my... Wait, give me two seconds. No, take two, take two minutes. Yeah, I need to, this is a business call, so I have to... Ask Tafadl, bismillah. Ya ayyuhan nabiyu qul li azwajika wa banatika wa nisa'il mu'minina yudneen يدنين عليهن من جلابي بهن ذلك أدنى أن يعرفن فلا يؤذين وكان الله غفورا رحيما